Hey guys, today we're trying Pandemic, as requested by Patreon subscriber Blalohu. I've never played this before. Unlike some of the other tabletop games, I've never gotten around to this one. I've seen it around in like various times where it's like a whole bunch of people all grouped up together and we're split up into like three different tabletop games at once because there's so many people around. I've seen Pandemic broken out during those sessions, but I haven't really been there. So let's take the tutorial, I suppose. Four diseases are spreading across the world. Your objective? Discover the cures for all four diseases to win the game. Do you have any sound effects for me? No. At, at the start of the game, your team will be dealt cards to help them travel the world and cure diseases. You can see your team's cards at, the, at any time by opening the tray to the right. Use the team info tab to open it. After you receive your cards, you will see the current status of the world's infections. Okay. Are those like the HQs of each disease or what? Wait, is it going to highlight every single node of the entire map one by one? that'll take hours. No. Your team must fight the spread of the disease while coordinating to discover cures. Control each player in turn. Oh, that's weird. Normally it's like a four-player game, I think. It looks like... Because from what I read, I think this game doesn't have any online or anything. So I guess you play as all the characters yourself. You have four actions per turn. Use them wisely. Your options are at the bottom of the screen. For now, move your medic to Washington. Select the move icon at the bottom, then Washington. Boop. You can move to any city connected to your current location by a line. You've used up one of your four actions by moving. Select treat to remove those menacing looking infection cubes. Great! The medic can remove up to three infections in one action. The other players can only remove one infection per action. Oh shit. Is that what the cubes were? Was three infections? I think so. Yeah. There are more infections in Madrid, but you can't move directly there from Washington. The cities are not connected. Note that you can simply choose a city to move there instead of using the move icon. Yeah, I'm trying. How do I choose a city? Oh, the dialogue was like looping over and over again and saying over and over again that I could just click on it. That was weird. I had to like keep clicking on it until it went away. When it was like repeating the same dialogue. Great. Unfortunately, you can't treat these infections this turn because you've already used up your four actions. We'll deal with them next turn. After each turn, the current player draws two cards. Your medic now has four blue cards, and only needs a fifth to cure the blue disease. Why do I need five? Wait, why do, why do I need a fifth card? Infections are also added after each player's turn. I wish there was like a little music. <laughs> Move the dispatcher to Madrid. All right. Dispatcher is able to move other pawns around the board. You can move any pawn to any city containing another pawn. Move the dispatcher directly to Madrid since the magic's already there. You can share cards that match the city you're in. Use the share action to give a Madrid card to the medic. To the medic, I have a I have a Madrid card. Share, Madrid, give, why do I have cards named after towns? Now your medic has five blue cards, he's, a, he's ready to cure the blue on his next turn. Why does having five blue cards cure any, what, did they explain that? Did I, did I forget already? Your dispatcher has two actions left, treat an infection in Madrid. 
Now move, now move Ollie, the operations expert, to your location. When moving another player's pawn during the dispatcher's turn, you can't just choose it on the map. You have to use the move icon. So move Ollie Madrid. Choose build as your first action. Okay. I uh, to click on this first. There. The white icon you just put in Madrid is a research station. The operations expert can build a research station for free. The other players can build a research station if they use the city card matching their location. So that's what it's for, I guess? So the medic could have built a Madrid station with his Madrid card, but that would have meant giving up one of the cards he needs to cure the blue disease. Ollie has three moves left. Let's find a city on the map that needs the most help. You can select and move the map to look around. Select twice to zoom in and out. Selecting the icon in the top right will show a bird's eye view of the entire map. Find the city with the most infections and choose to move there. So it loops. So it's Hong Kong. That's correct. Now select direct flight. You can t you take a direct flight to a city by discarding that city's card. So that's what you can do with the cards. You can travel to that city. So have so having a bunch of cards of a color helps cure a disease, but also you can discard a card to travel directly to that city. But you can also discard a card to build a thing at that city. I think. Treat an infection, then build a research station. Treat, and then build. I already forgot what research stations did. <laughs> oh. Learning board games on the fly is always a tough thing. There's always the intro phase of people explaining the rules, and then the actual phase of learning by doing, because it's just so much to process otherwise. The researcher can give away any of her cards. Her location doesn't have to match the card. She just has to be in the same city as the person she's sharing with. Rebecca currently has two yellow cards to give. Who should she give them to? Remember, the player, a player needs five cards of the same color to cure the color's disease. Find the player Rebecca should give the cards to, then choose that player's location on the map. So, yellow. Ollie. That's right. Fortunately, Rebecca and Ollie are, were both at research stations. A player can move directly from one research station to another. Okay. Apparently, that's a thing that you can do. Give Ollie your yellow cards. Share. Ollie. Give. Look at all that yellow. Great! Ollie can now cure yellow disease on his next turn. Treat a red infection with Rebecca's remaining action. epidemic. I feel like sound effects are supposed to be playing right now. <laughs> like it's doing all these flashing things on the screen. The whole screen just changed color. Is there, can I turn options? There is music. Apparently. Huh. Okay. Maybe it's just not in the tutorial. An epidemic occurs whenever you draw an epidemic card. Three things happen during an epidemic. First, the marker on the infection right track moves forward one position. More about that later. Next, a city receives three infections. Finally, the discarded infection cards are reshuffled and put back on the top of the deck. This means that recently infected cities will soon be infected again. Outbreaks can trigger after outbreaks. Be careful for chain reactions. If too many breaks occur, you lose the game. You can also lose if you run out of cards or infection cubes, and then need to take one. A tally is kept up here for your convenience. Blink. 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 
Seems to be spreading everywhere. Cure the blue disease. Ha ha. When disease is cured, medic automatically treats infections out of that color simply by being in the same city. Mike has three actions left. Treat the remaining blue infections by moving to their locations. So just by being there. We completely eradicated the entire blue disease, I think. If a disease is cured, you... And you remove all infections of that color from the map. You eradicate the disease. That means infections of that color will no longer appear. Note that you don't need to eradicate any diseases to win the game. You only need to discover the four cures. Still, if you lose by the disease spreading like crazy, then being able to delete it seems really helpful. Continue to the infected cities step. Okay. Continue to first infection. Um... Okay. I was momentarily worried that I was accidentally skipping my turn or something. Event cards can be used at any time. This button appears in the bottom right corner. This one, I guess? Mike has the Cairo card. He should give it to Doug. To do that, both Mike and Doug need to be in Cairo. Okay. Use the airlift event card to move Mike, the medic, to Cairo. So airlift, play, and go to Cairo. Oh, here we go. Cairo? Mike? Are you Mike? How do I... That's Doug. Mike? Mike was the Marine, right. Cairo. Using, using an event card doesn't cost any actions. Doug has four actions left. Doug can now move to Cairo because Mike is there. Remember, the dispatcher can move any pawn to any city containing another pawn. Move Doug to Cairo. Move. Cairo. Take the Cairo card from Mike. Share, Mike, Cairo, take. Now move Rebecca to Cairo. Take the instant bowl card from Rebecca. Remember the researcher can give away any city card even when it's not her turn. This is a lot to take in. Doug now has five black cards. On his next turn, he can cure the black disease. Oh, right. We need to find the four cures in order to win, right? The entire game. So when you have five... So that's... Wait, that's the primary goal of the entire game then, right? Is to get the five... Right. I wasn't thinking about that. But our goal is to cure each disease. I think they're saying that once you have all five of one color you then are doing cure as in like not just cleaning up a city but actually like having the big bad cure that means you win the game well one of the four cure the yellow disease cure the reactions left move to kolkata and treat an infection then move back to hong kong so you're conveniently located at a research station um So, Kokata, Hong Kong. That was a relatively minor piece of progress there. Rebecca. Rebecca doesn't have any cards to give away, so let's have her treat some infections. Move to Khartoum. Where is that? I don't see it. Oh, it was under the, the notification. The 
Because you have cured the yellow disease, when you treat yellow infections, you remove all of them in one action. Move to Largos. Yeah, that's a big deal. How can you get to Hong Kong to deal with those infections? You're in Cairo, and you have no cars to travel with. But there is a research station in Hong Kong. If you're at a research station, you could take a shuttle flight directly between the two stations. There's no station on Cairo. So first you need to get to the nearest research station, then take a shuttle flight to Hong Kong. Nicely done. Now take care of those infections. Ba boom. Doug needs to do a research. Get a research. Uh, get to a research station so he can cure the black disease. Can you get to a research station in one move using Doug's special ability? be able to just travel directly to them, right? If they're at a research station. And then cure. They're moving your medic to Kolkata using the dispatcher's special ability. There, oh there it is. Kolkata. Remember the medic automatically treats infections of cured diseases at his location, even when it's not his turn. I can just move him around with a different character. Move your medic to Bogota using the Dispatcher Special Ability. Oh, there it is. Bit of a geography test here. Once per turn, the operations expert can move directly from a research station to any other city by discarding the city card. Move to Seoul, and when prompted, discard a city card. Does it matter which one? Apparently, because I couldn't pick up. I couldn't click on the other one. Treat infection, then move to, to Tokyo and treat infection there. This is a tutorial, I suppose. They're mostly just playing an entire game, though, it seems. Each space on the infection rate t uh, track has a number. The number on the marked space is the current infection rate. The marker moves forward with every epidemic. The infection rate tells you how many cities re uh, receive infections at the end of each turn. Infections will spread faster now. Ah, we've reached three. We're also, the track's like halfway up, and the outbreaks are like halfway up, so I guess we're like halfway to losing, I suppose. And infections are everywhere. Turn start. Direct flights allow you to move to the city, matching your card. Charter flights allow you to move from the city, matching your, matching your card. For example, Rebecca is in Lagos, and she has uh, she can use her Lagos card to fly anywhere on the map. Okay. They want, me, they want me to go to Santiago. And then treat. Use your remaining actions to get to Bogota and meet up with Mike. All right. Definitely a bit disappointing to play in a first pl uh, single player context, I think, because I think a, a lot of the fun of this game is probably you and three other people using your unique movement systems and other abilities and coordinating how you're going to save the world. Take Rebecca's red cards.
You only need one more red card to cure the red disease and win the game. Time to take a gamble. Hopefully you'll receive a red card at your next draw. Use your remaining actions to get back to a research station. Hmm. We want to get to a research station so we can teleport to the red area and wipe that disease out. One quiet night. Lucky you! Mike can cure the red disease in his next turn. Yeah, lucky me in the scripted tutorial that things worked out. Use your event card, One Quiet Night, to skip infecting cities this turn. Skip the next infect city step. Gotcha. It's up to you now. What, to cure the disease with Mike before the game ends? Sounds relatively easy. What a weird character. Because you can't just move around normally with him at all, huh? Oh wait, he's over here and I sent Mike up there. I guess he has that power regardless. Hmm. Oh my god. Ah! Oh god, the game has music now. I'm scared. Ah! <laughs> it was so abrupt. Wow, where is there suddenly music? What's happening? Wow, I'm like one turn from... What the fuck? Am I about to lose? Um... Hey, buddy. Can you... Use your cool winning powers to win? Please? Government grant. Uh, infect cities. Add one research station to any city. I don't think I currently have a plan for that. Doesn't Mike just need to cure this one spot on his turn and then... What? Wait. I don't... All I had to do was let it be... What? What? I just failed the tutorial, I guess. Wow, those last outbreaks went ridiculously fast. Huh. Did it... I don't... I don't think I get it. <laughs> I think I'd have to replay the entire tutorial. I think there's elements that I, that I clung to and other elements that I didn't quite grasp. But that, that's par for the course. I love I love board games, but it always takes me a couple runs to get it down. First, you have the part where somebody sits there and explains basically the entire rule set to you while you're all sitting around the table, and then you're like, "Yeah, sure, uh, I got it." You say, lying, and then the game starts, and then you kind of start picking it up via some qu asked questions and stuff like that over the course of your first game. And then you pretty much figured out while going. Because, uh, context helps. I th I guess I just didn't realize how fast you could lose. I thought all I had to do was get Mike to the red area and hit Cure. But he never got another turn. I must have been expected to teleport him with one of the weird movement abilities. And then because I didn't do that, I instantly lost. Which... Damn. There's some consequences. I don't think I fully grasp this game, so I don't think I'm quite ready for a full solo game. Would definitely prefer to play it with a group. But yeah, this is Pandemic. If you want to check it out, there's a link in the description to the Steam page. Uh, thank you to the developers for sending me a code so I could preview their game. But uh, I would say maybe look into the tabletop version too. 
if you guys are looking at this like rule set you're know, thinking like this might be interesting like this is originally a board game that was available as a physical copy and i think it's actually kind of a popular one too uh so it should be relatively easy to find if you want that and you can break that out with a group of friends and all try to beat the plague and all that thanks for watching like always guys and i'll see you next time